1970 Volkswagen Convertible, Restoration Number 2. Clip 35A, Convertible Top Installation, January of 2012. A new top, padding, and liner was purchased from M&T Manufacturing. Therefore, their instruction was used for the installation. But I will simplify them. The M&T instructions were written in the 60s and cover all Beatles and black and white photographs aren't up to par. So I have better photographs and discussions only for my 1970 VW. All all moving parts of the top frame and lower all windows. Make sure the frame is centered on the body. Make sure the header is 6 to 8 millimeters in front of the windshield frame because the top linkage curved slightly after the top cover had been fitted and tension applied. Cover the car body so that the spray adhesives will not get on the newly painted surface. Mark the center line of the car on the front and rear of the body. The hardest part of M&T instruction was understanding the frame structure nomenclature, since these parts are not in your everyday language. Familiarize yourself with this detail. The same nomenclature of the name as previously noted, but this time shown on the Volkswagen frame. Installing the leatherette. Fold the top back and add paper coverage to protect the body and pray D313 adhesives on the back side of the header. Cut a strip of leatherette as shown and pray the back side with adhesives. When the adhesives become tacky, place the leatherette strip on the back side of the header as shown. Trim as needed for the ends and around the pins. Cut a smaller strip of leatherette as shown and pray the back side with adhesives and apply to the bottom side of the header as noted above. Trim as needed around the edges. Locate the outer wood molding on the main bow. Cut a piece of vinyl about 4 inches by 18 inches and spray adhesives on the back side of the vinyl and the front face of the outer wood molding. Allow about 10 minutes for the adhesives to cure and become tacky and apply the vinyl. Trim and remove the excess material. The outer wood molding after the vinyl had been applied. Note this is not a factory item but I cover the wood to make it look much better. For a 1970 Volkswagen, the window and frame dimension are as shown in this detail. Use a small wire in the center of the top and tie each unit to achieve the proper dimension prior to installing the webbing below. An alternate view of the window detail with the webbing location shown. Installing the webbing strap. Close the top and fasten the catches. Wrap a piece of webbing around the main bow as shown and hot glue the end together. Do not glue the webbing to the bow since it will need to rotate. Sew the webbing together as shown. Pull the webbing across the rear tubular bow, the rear bow, and down to the rear body bow. Make sure the webbing is in the groove in the rear bow. With brass or copper tack, tack the webbing to the rear body bow as shown. Make sure the window and frame dimension above are maintained. Make sure the webbing is in the groove in the rear bow and tack it into place, maintaining the frame dimension as discussed previously. Cut a piece of webbing about 3 inches long and hot glue it to the webbing as shown on the rear tubular bow. Again, do not hot glue the, to the bow since the webbing will need to rotate. Sew the two pieces of webbing together through the hot glue portion. 
A view of the rear after the webbing had been installed on both sides. The spacing from the center of the rear body bow to the webbing is 450 millimeters or 17 and 11 16 inches as shown. Work effort for this section approximately 6 hours. Installing the headliner. The headliner should be attached in order as shown in this detail. After centering the headliner, temporarily attack the headliner to the front bow through the seam to prevent tearing. Attach the headliner screw to the main bow on each side as shown. The upholster adhesive as shown was used to spray each bow one at a time and both sides of the attachment flap on the top side of the liner. The liner was then pulled tight and uniform along the underside of the bow utilizing the attachment order as discussed previously. Vic the Obin, after the main bow had been sprayed with adhesives. Cardboard was used to keep from getting the adhesive on the back side of the liner since we were afraid the adhesive would show through the pinholes in the liner. The main bow with the header flap attached. The rear bow ready for attachment. The rear body bow after attachment with small copper tags. The headliner was pulled uniformly and a first row of tack was installed on the header. The header after additional tacks have been applied. The header after excess liner had been cut off. The rear tubular bow ready for attaching. The front tubular bow ready for attaching. The front tubular bow after attaching and after tucking the flap material tight on the bow. Note the headliner should hang down approximately 10 millimeters below each roof frame member. A view of the headliner front and a view of the headliner rear. Work effort on this section approximately 3 hours. Cut two pieces of vinyl 4 inches by 18 inches as shown and spray the back side with adhesives. Also spray the top frame area with adhesives. Slowly apply the vinyl covering to the frame and rub out all air pockets. A view after installing the vinyl cover. A view from the bottom after the vinyl cover had been attached. Tie a length of 4 mm diameter cord to the main bow and loop it around the rear tubular bow and tack it to the end of the rear bow. Sew the cord to the headliner side seam with the cord string under tension. A close up of the headliner seal flap after being sewed together to the string and to the cord. For continuation, see part 35B.